Hello lovelies and welcome to today's video. So first off, I want to say that in no way is this picture meant to make light of the situation. But at the time, it was just a, a funny little picture I sent to my husband. Yeah, so you'll see what I mean when you see. So this, um, first thing I have to say is I printed off this photo on paper using my printer. First thing I'm doing this week is I'm buying some ink for my photo printer because I can't print any photos. So the quality isn't the best, but if I really want to change it later, I'll just print it off with my photo printer and reprint it. So I did print this photo in two different sizes because I wasn't sure which size I wanted. I know I, at first I wanted to go small and then have a big blob of everything behind it. And that's actually what I end up going with. I've pulled out a few things um, from my Flutterby stash. I don't end up using these things that I've got out in the middle of my cardstock. Um, I actually end up going back to the Extreme Teen collection because there was some pretty cool stuff in there that I wanted to use. So this video is to go with my Flutterby Designs um, Instagram post. And yeah, so I'm using my Flutterby Designs stash. Uh, I'm going to start with my Flutter Color Paint. Now I'm picked a, I picked three paints um, to go with, uh, to go, yeah, to use. I only end up using two of them. I don't use the yellow. I still have yet to use this yellow. Although looking at it now, when I'm finished, the yellow would have been perfect for some splats or something, like some big swishy lines because wait to see what I put on it. Would have worked perfectly. So I'm just working on, um, you know, the rule of thirds, or well, the rule of three. So I've sort of sectioned my layout into three and I've worked on that bottom quadrant. And I'm just starting with the lime. Now, what I really wanted, um, I put my paint down and used the uh, Vicky Booten. What is it called? It's the, it's a tool of some kind. The new tool, oh, I can't even remember what it's called. But it's basically like a paint scraper type thingy. It's really cool. It's got three different sized edges, um, different textures. It's really great. But I did want to have at the edges of my paint some splatty lines and things. So you can really see that this paint is just going everywhere. Now, if there was ever a time to use the knucklehead stencil from Flutterby Designs, if it's not now, I don't know when it is. I have used this stencil in my past two projects. Um, the last project I did for Flutter by Designs was an art journal page when I wasn't having a good day and I used this and also a lovely sentence enhancer and I've used this again because if you can't tell in the photo this is a picture of me watching um, the Andromeda strain. So I sent a picture and I put some text on it to my husband saying what else do you do in a pandemic except watch a movie where about a virus. Um, I picked the Andromeda strain because I just finished reading the Andromeda evolution which was really cool. It wasn't like I watched Outbreak or anything and sent him a picture of that, although I did watch that the next day. But like I said, this was a, about a week or two ago, so it wasn't as intense as it is now, and it is in no way meant to make light of the situation, but I am a firm believer of if you don't laugh, you'll cry. So, you know, this was just a way to, to lighten the mood, I guess. So because I really wanted to, to go with, you know, um, crazy and messy, I got out my black Posca paint pen. It is the, what is it, the 8M, is it the 8K? Um, I've really messed up the tip on it, and so now I just use it for splatters because I've turned the tip around. And then that's just given me some nice big black splats here and there. And then I've matted my photo, so I've gone for the small one. And I matted it on a P, um, these are the Everyday Etc. cards from Flutter by Designs. And these are the filler cards. This, the first one has a slight um, pattern of the knucklehead stencil behind it. And then I've got this other textured one. I think it's like um, steel. I don't know, like metal. Anyway, I just picked these. So the stuff that I pulled out, I didn't actually end up using. I went back into my Flutterby stash and ended up getting out the Extreme Teen collection. Because I knew there was a piece in there that I really wanted to use. And I knew I'd seen it. And that's this piece here. And I wasn't sure if it was on a card or not. Or if there was a black and yellow card. I knew what I had in mind. And then I went through and found these pieces. So this is what I've decided to go with. And so yeah, these are all from the Extreme Teen collection. Which I have about two of everything. Because it is one of my favourite Flutterby collections. And then one card that I did pull out earlier, it said, um, then this happened. Well, I decided to fussy cut out the this happened, and I'm going to change that a bit to, well, not going to change those parts, but instead of putting on the this happened, um, then this happened, I write, yes, this happened. 
So I'm just going to adhere these down with some um, double-sided tape. And whenever I always pull off too much, I always attach it to my hand. So that is where you keep seeing floating around. And then I'm going to get the Flutter by Designs Alphabet Stencil. So this is a really cool stencil. And it's just got a base outline of the alphabet. And so then I'm just going to trace around the letters I want to finish off my title. Which is going to be, um, yes, this happened. So while I'm doing that, just um, on my layers, when I do, I'm trying to work on creative layers to get a bit more creative with my matting and things. So what I've done is I've used a paint pen and I scribbled on that black layer to give me just some more um, haphazard lines. And then because I just love splatters and I was really going for grungy and messy in this layout, I used um, my trusty old cheap and nasty it's not cheap and nasty. It, it was cheap. It was from a junk shop, but I call it my cheap and nasty white paint pen because all I use it for is splatters. It's, it's a really jumbo one. And I put some white splatters on the edge of my black layers and my photo. I didn't want them anywhere else. I just wanted to focus them there <laughs> as much as you can focus splatters. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. I do trace around and then color in the yes. I attempt to go around it with a, um, a white gel pen, but uh, it didn't work very well. Maybe because I was too impatient, it wasn't dry yet. Um, I probably should just go over it back with black and that might, um, might make it look a little better. But for now, yeah, so this was my title. Yes, this happened. And yeah, that's pretty much it for my layout. Uh, I really enjoyed making this. It was a more of a, you know, just a laid back, funny kind of, kind of thing. I love the background. I really do love how this came together. I love the, the messy, grungy feel that it's, it's giving off. So thanks for watching and I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Like I've mentioned before, it is just a lighthearted video. So yeah, thanks for watching and uh, I'll be back real soon with a new video. Bye for now.